I practiced one was better than practice 15 coming out of the spring. So that's growth. You know, the gains the guys have made um, conditionally, showing up, you know, being a little more physical. And we just go keep stressing them mentally every day. And, uh, and they're responding, so. I'm talking to Lavelle on Wednesday, yep. he seemed almost relieved yeah. after the first practice, yeah. kind of like physically yeah. being able to, that he felt yeah. like he could do it. Have you seen a difference between him just this week or what has that done confidence wise? Yeah, you know, I think uh, when you're coming back from an injury like that, there's a mental confidence that goes along with it. And there's an athletic confidence that goes along with it. And combining, you know, his time away from the injury, the time he's put in with the trainers, the strength, strength coaches, he has a lot of confidence in his leg. And he, now he's having mental confidence. So we're seeing a better Lavelle than we saw in the spring. Now, is he a finished product? Nope, nope, nope. He's still got work to do. But there is improvement with that, yes. The number of the running back are yeah. better now yes. than the, the past spring. Where's yeah. the running back first bat? You're going to seeing there with some of those it's, uh, it's a daily competition. It's a constant rotation. No one has emerged. So we're waiting to see that. Who's going to take it and emerge? It's practice three. We had to show the pads on for the first day. So now you can really start to see how does a, a running back separate himself and just out there in the helmet. So tomorrow we come back, get some more work in, and hopefully we see somebody start to separate themselves from the crowd. So you guys talked about challenging Mike Collins. In yes. The Have you seen him kind of continue that progression that you guys saw in the spring? You know, I think he's kind of where he, where he is. We left off in the spring. We want to see more from him, honestly. And uh, that just goes to the whole group um, with all the guys, right? Whether it's Paris or whoever's in the room, they all get an opportunity to show that they're consistent in what we ask them to do and being, being a physical guy, right? Coach, that. speaking of running backs, yeah. obviously you get asked this a lot, but yeah. so much of that has to do with the O-line. Where Correct. are we at in terms of you know, we have more bodies, so that's a positive than we had in the spring. So it's just kind of getting those guys to jail, all right, with the group because, what, two of them only played together in the spring, maybe three. So we're trying to get that group of five. Hopefully we can get that set, eight or nine guys that we can get to work together in jail. So, again, it goes into the first two days just in the helmet. You know, they're synchronizing and working together. Now we get the pads on. Are we playing with good leverage or a hand placement? You know, those type things. Are we setting right and pass protection? The things we need them to do at a high level for us to win. Coach, uh, your talk impressions of Cody Brown. Yeah, so Cody's finding his way, right? Because he joined us in the summer. So he's kind of got integrated in the team. Didn't go through a spring practice. Hadn't been coached by us. So the first day, you could tell he's trying to figure it out. Each day, he's starting to have a little more presence. You know, today benefits him because he's a physical guy, so we got some shoulder pads on. So I, hopefully we'll start to see more of that coming out of him. Coach, uh, talk a little bit about your selection being on the yeah. Coalition Academy. Yes. You know, how did all that come about? Yes. And just talk about the value of yeah. uh, Coach Ellie was a part of the Yeah, academy. you know, uh, honestly, I, I don't know how it came about. I was, I'm thankful for that. I received the email from him. I know Coach Elliott was a part of that group, uh, asking, asking for me to join. Obviously, I was honored to do that. Um, had had a conversation with uh, with uh, some of the leaders of the group, uh, uh, Desiree, um, Rad, Coach Loxley, uh, with that. So looking forward to what that program um, entails here over the next calendar year. And it's difficult with new staff, but yes. have you seen anyone that you haven't expected kind of emerge student-wise in a leadership role? Because you know, yeah. being vocal in practice when yeah. you're also still trying to learn, like how's that process been? You know. Um, it's not a new guy, but just because he wasn't with us much in the spring, having Derek Devine out there is very comforting because obviously he's an older guy, experienced guy. He has some confidence um, with him. You know, Grant Mish out of my room is another guy. He's obviously an older guy, but he's now getting to step into that role um, in, in that fashion. Uh, other than that, we're still trying to figure it out with some guys, you know. How important is that to what you want to do? To have it, that? It's, it's very important. You know, we need more than, than one guy on the offensive line. You know, we need more than – than BA, we need more than KT. Like we need more guys to really step out of this this shadow here and step to the forefront. What's your initial impression of John Paul Flores coming to Illinois? Yeah, I tell you, John's a smart guy. Um, he's a utility guy. He's already played a couple positions for us in the practice, so that's really good to have. And we'll keep pushing him and, and mixing some things up in the rotation and seeing, you know, is he in our top five? Is he a six guy? You know, he has some swing to him, so it's a great benefit to have right now. With the old line is it kind of daily you're mixing and matching you yeah to see exactly what you have and how guys fit together you know here here all your own we kind of set it and try to work a group and then it's the next group who emerges out of that do they earn an opportunity to kind of get into that group does a guy in that first group 
not do as well and kind of rotate from there, it's competition, right? Every day is competition, and that's the coach's best friend. Granted, it was the same game, yeah. Mish and Wood looked really good in the yes. game. How was how they progressed? Yeah, they kind of, uh, I think they picked up where they, where they left off. You know, have, have had three good practices in the pass scale stuff. I'm excited to go watch this film now because we had some pads on, did some inside run, just seeing how they did the run fits. But uh, we got some movement, had a couple good runs down there inside run, uh, running behind those guys. But uh, they're excited about the opportunities, you know, especially coming out of spring ball and kind of seeing how they got some touches, right, and, and, and moving forward with that. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't see Billy Kemp in the spring when he yeah. out. Yeah. Seen him a couple days now. Yes. What if we eat for your impression? You know, like they say, B Billy has the ability to make some plays. And we're managing him, all right, because he hadn't played ball in a while. So we're not just going to blow him up in the first three, three days of practice. But the times he's been out there and doing what we asked him to do, he's done a good job with the ball in his hands. But he's also trying to pick up his learning curve because he missed the spring as well uh, with that. So.